Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 17th tutorial in this course. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about null values and the empty method in PHP. So I've got a file opened up in my text editor notepad plus plus and the name of this file is null.php. And uh, in this file on line number six, I have the opening PHP tag for the code and on line number 11, I have the closing PHP tag. And uh, I have created a variable called var on line number seven and I've given to it the value null. Now, a lot of people would tell you that null means zero or null means space, but that's not true. You know, null values actually mean nothing, right? So in case you have a value that is nothing, you know, you can call it null value. And uh, this can be tricky to understand, but you know, I'm going to give you an example, which uh, I hope is going to simplify things. So let's say you have designed a sign up page for a website and uh, on that page, there are a lot of fields, you know, you've asked users to uh, provide their first name, their last name, their age, and uh, you know maybe their uh, contact details like their email addresses and so on. Now, on that page, when a user is registering, you wouldn't want the user to not type in the first name or not type in the last name. And these fields are also called required fields, right? So that's why if you would try to sign up on Gmail and not provide your first name, you know, if you'll try to register, you know, you'll get an error message. You would see like red text all over the page and you would see that uh, you know, uh, you cannot register without supplying your first name, right? So those kind of checks are made using certain functions and we're going to talk about the empty function, but null value in PHP is, uh, is, is useful. And again, we're going to talk about this later on the course when we do some interesting stuff with the null data type, but if you want to create a variable and if you want to explicitly assign null value, then you could, uh, you know, simply type in the text null and that's N U double L. So the way we created Boolean, da uh, Boolean variables by typing true and false as Boolean values um, and assign those values to variables. You know, you can also assign null value to a variable by simply typing null, right? And uh, if you would echo out the value of a null variable, then since null values are nothing, you're going to see nothing, right? And we're going to check out the output of this file in a minute, but there is a function that you can use to confirm whether the value in a variable is uh, null or not. And the name of that function is, is null and that's is underscore null. And uh, the way you check is by passing in the name of the variable within parentheses as an argument to the function, right? And uh, then there's another method uh, that we're gonna talk about and this one's called empty. And uh, this method is extremely useful, you know, when you are taking data from users and you want to be sure that they have supplied something and something valid. Right. So for instance, if, um, again, you have a sign up page and the user supplies zero as a value for the first name or zero for as a value for the age. Now that can't be true, right? Nobody can be called the number zero or, uh, you know, the age of a person cannot be zero for instance. So the empty method checks whether the value in a variable is null or if it is zero. And if the answer to that question is true, then you see one. And if the answer to that question is false, then you see nothing. Right, so it works the same way as the is underscore null function or the is numeric, is int, is float, you know, the, the is family basically. So now let me show you guys the output of this file. I'll go to my browser and instead of booleans, I'm now going to request for null.php. When I press the enter key, I see that I don't get anything uh, in the first line of the output. And that's because I had uh, an echo statement that I used to display the value that's there in the variable var. And since var has null value, I don't see anything. The reason why I see the next line, the output of the next statement on a fresh line in the output is because I have uh, also echoed out a break tag here, right? And uh, what's going to be the output of this function is underscore null. Of course, the value in the variable var is uh, null. So that's why we're going to see um, one is the output of this function. And uh, since the empty function checks whether the value is null or zero, since the value is null, it's also going to return one. So we're going to see one here. Now, if suppose I change the value of this variable to zero, what all changes should we expect in the output? Well, first of all, we're going to see the value zero on the first line. So it's, it's not going to be that we're, we're not going to see anything uh, in the first line on the output. And uh, you know, this function is also not going to return one to us. It's going to return zero to us or nothing, uh, sorry this time and that's because uh, the value is no longer null you know zero doesn't mean null it means that there is something but it's zero but the empty function is still going to return one to us because as i said it checks whether the value is null or zero 
so let me go to my browser and refresh and there we go we now see zero here and nothing here and we see one here right so that's it for this tutorial and uh, i hope you guys had fun watching and you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i'm going to see you in the next video in which we'll uh, talk about some more interesting stuff and uh, that's it take care